The old man frantically tapped on the car window and told the woman in the car that it wasn't his child. The woman thought the old woman was simply crazy and didn't realize that the old woman hit her head on the glass of the car and then the old woman was pulled away by her partner. The woman didn't take her words seriously, but when she got home, she noticed her son's bizarre behavior. He used to play with toys and game consoles, but now he doesn't touch them at all. Instead, he watches TV like an adult and drinks wine at the same time. The woman just wanted to educate, but her son suddenly became angry and growled at the woman, and even pushed away the table and attacked the woman. She was surprised when her son became so strong, and then she thought of what the old man had said to her. To find out the truth, she went to the place where she met the old man before, and found that the old man was already dead. His whole head was buried in the earth. His death was too weird. The old man's husband tells the woman that they once had a lovely son too, and that he once went to play in the woods alone. And when he came back the old woman felt that her son was like a different person, like he was possessed by something. The old lady ran her son over with her car, and then she went crazy and became psychotic all day long. Jenny remembered that her son had been to the woods alone. She immediately rushed home but could not find his son. Just as she was wondering, the boy appeared behind her like a ghost. At night when she went to bed, she watched her son through the doorway and saw a frightening image. The woman saw her son crawling around on all fours like a monster, then grabbed a large spider and stuffed it alive into his mouth, and ate it with gusto. The little boy seemed to know that his mother was outside the door and began to call out for her. The woman hurriedly hid in her room. The little boy was constantly making strange noises looking for his mother. The woman pretended to be calm and said she had gone to sleep. The next day the woman also found that her son actually ate the food that he used to be particularly resistant to. And now she could be sure that the little boy was not her son. The boy stopped hiding and began to push and sweep up his mother. Then threw her out with surprising strength. The little boy dragged the woman to the woods and tried to bury her. Luckily the woman was prepared for this. She had put sleeping pills in the boy's food ahead of time. And within a few moments, the boy passed out on the ground. Pretending to be unconscious, the woman crawled up and dragged the boy into the warehouse. She took a mirror and took a look at the boy. And sure enough, the son in the mirror was a horrible monster. She now wants to find her real son as soon as possible. She went to the woods again and saw a huge pit, which was supposed to be the monster's lair. The woman was slowly swallowed up bodily by this hole in the ground and came to an underground cavern. She fought her way forward and saw her son's body in the deepest part. It was unknown how long the son had been hidden here by the monster, and it was unknown if he was dead or alive. Next to it was a white bone. I think this is the crazy old woman's dead son. Then saw the bodies of many children. It seems that this monster has plagued many children. The woman picked up her son and ran out of the house, but the monster had already chased her in. Jenny fought with the monster, and then carried her son back to the same place and drove away from this weird place. Shortly after, her son recovered and the woman moved to a new home with her son to start a new life. As the woman watched her son finally play happily like a normal child, she took out her camera to take a picture of her son. However, when the photo was enlarged, what appeared was a blurry ghostly face. So who is this little boy really?